For on-the-go college students, making healthy eating choices can be difficult. Emory University junior Ike Privatera makes it a point to stay fit through regular workouts and a high-protein diet. I look at nutrition information for my own personal benefit to have a rough idea of what I'm eating and what's going into my body so that I can have a better idea of what my diet is. Thanks to Section 4205 of the Affordable Health Care Act, Privatera and others who are health conscious can find out exactly what they're eating at many restaurants. The new regulation requires chain locations to post calorie counts on their menu boards and to offer nutritional information on request. Dietitian Carolyn O'Neill thinks this information will help people make educated eating decisions. If you were at a restaurant and you chose a hamburger or you chose a pizza, it's kind of like you don't know how many calories or how much fat. It's like going to the checkout counter and they go, hey, guess what? You just went over your budget for calories for the day. But will customers make healthier choices? When Panera Bread posted calorie counts on its menu last August, Emory Village manager Frank Judy watched to see how customers responded to the information. I was afraid that our customers would look at those calories and then not order some of our more profitable items. But what we have found, at least at this store, is that it didn't affect too much what people bought. Number two. Emory Jr. Olivia Seeley is against posting calorie information on menu boards. She recalls going to a Yankees game in New York City when the menu labeling requirements were in effect. And it will be like, hot dog, $4, 400 calories, like 600 calories. And it's just the most ridiculous thing ever. Like, part of going to a baseball game is, like, eating the hot dogs. I don't want to know that. And I want to be able to enjoy my baseball game without that. Despite Seeley's reservations, the menu labeling will soon extend to thousands of other places, such as airlines and convenience stores. Privatera embraces these changes. I think I'm going to go out to eat more, because now the information is posted publicly, it's a lot easier for me to go and look at it and see what I'm eating, so I can go out to fast food restaurants and I can know what to eat, and how much to eat. A recent article by the U.S. Department of Agriculture says that it may be too soon to tell what effects these menu labeling requirements will have. It points to conflicting studies conducted in the New York City area where this initiative has already been in effect for three years. It says that while some customers did order fewer calories, others actually ordered more. Jessica Fink, Emory News Now.